Ford Mustang 747 uh, flight simulator home cockpit. So another short video here. Um, I haven't turned the cockpit on yet. As you can see, everything is uh, off. Okay. I, I want to show you the reason why it's, everything is off. Because if, before I do that, I want to show you um, a couple of programs that I'm using to uh, run the simulator. Now, one of course is the the immersive display pro this is my so-called curving software and blending this thing is phenomenal it's fairly inexpensive i think i paid about 90 or 100 dollars or so three years ago and uh, it works like a charm uh, it's very easy to use yes the fir very first setup was complicated but not because it was complicated but because i didn't know how to use it so i had to learn it and by the way i hate reading manuals so i never read manuals i like to learn the hard way so i do not read manuals i learned you know as i do with everything else so and that's why it took me about three days to get the first setup proper all the lines and everything but basically just to show you how it works let me start it up so there you go so this is, let me see here if I can zoom out a little bit. So basically the, the supplied images, and you can make your own as many as you like, but the supplied images are several different kinds from totally black to totally white to lines and everything in between. Um, let's see, there you go, squares, and that's one of my own, and then there's of course animation, both uh, horizontal and as well as vertical, let's see, vertical, there you go, and then there is diagonal, so the idea is to adjust your adjusting points as you can see all these points here adjust them one at a time basically until these lines um, look proper on, on all three directions horizontal vertical and diagonal it is a lot of work but once you've done it you've done it uh, it should be okay i mean you make a few adjustments here and there once in a while you know you close the door the cockpit the, the projectors sometimes move a little bit so I make a, a small adjustment, let's say every week or so, uh, spend three minutes, five minutes before. But once it's done, it's done, make sure you save your file. This is what I, what I recommend. Of course, there are others, but uh, I like simplicity and uh, this works just the best for me. And uh, once you learn it, I'm now an expert at it. And uh, as you can see, it's very, very good. Um, goes all around, as you can see. and. Um, love it okay so that is as far as the uh, warp software is concerned so let me close that and minimize it okay and let's get out of there but another extremely important piece of software i want to show you is this guy right here it's called fly simulator platform solutions this thing is a lifesaver especially when you have so many components running what it allows you to do is basically designate let me see if i can show you there you go what it allows you to do is uh, what's called affinity affinity of course is something you can do without this but you know you have to go in the system and make manual changes this is the way to go what you simply do is you allocate certain uh, number or specific processors on your uh, CPU to specific tasks. Because if you don't do that, what's going to happen is, for example, in the instance of the i7, it has a four um, cores plus four virtual, the original i7s that is. Um, if you let Windows decide, what Windows will do is it will load everything onto processor core 1 and then 2 and then 3 and then 4. You end up using barely any of the 4th core if you do that. And because Windows, of course, runs on core number 1 by default, 
uh, and your simulator ends up being loaded with the core number one on core number one as well it's constantly competing for resources and uh, you get a lot of hiccups because uh, it has to of course wait um, for uh, resources to come free so what this thing does is phenomenal basically you allocate um, so I run basically Windows on processor number on the core number one uh, the FS9 I run it on uh, uh, 2, 3 and 4 um, and then uh, all the other uh, flight deck um, um, uh, what is it FTC those are other add-ons I'm going to show you in a second um, the simulator uh, the software for the for the MCP, the control module, the module control panel, the autopilot basically, and the the RAS, the RAS it stands for runaway, um, basically it's, it's an alerter, runaway inclusion alerter, something like similar, that's a free program actually. Anyways, and of course there's a multitude of other programs uh, running with these headers here. Uh, so what that does and believe me it makes a world of difference because i tried the simulator with this program and without and the, we're talking 10 to 15 not exaggerating frames per second improvements when you use this versus when you don't so this is a must fsps multi-core next even if you don't have a full cockpit like this do buy it it's, it's only like seven or two ten dollars it's nothing but you you program it so that the cores are uh, divided the way you want them instead of the letting the computer decide for you and it's it's a must okay so let me close that and now of course when it comes to the computer that's going to be next video so thank you very much for now come back and uh, we'll talk about the computer setting up windows itself thank you